How's it going everyone? The Phantom Michael here bringing you a Pokemon Go related video. As it's been said, the second gen update for Pokemon Go should be out in December, giving us plenty of time to work on the Gen 1 Pokedex before new mons are released into the game. But, I'm sure most of you are getting bored capturing Pokemon that don't have much potential at this current point in the game. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's at least 9 Pokemon you need to make sure you capture extras of before the Gen 2 Pokemon are released into the game. With that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Alright, we're going to start this video off with number 9, Onyx. In Gen 2, Onyx evolves into the Steel-type Pokemon, Steelix. And if I had to guess, I'd say you need at least 50 candies for Onyx to evolve into Steelix. Now, in the games, you do need to have a held item to evolve Onyx into Steelix, but because this Pokemon doesn't evolve into multiple different Pokemon, like you'll see later on in this list, then, easy enough to say, I guess you could just have the 50 candies or 100 candies and Onyx would evolve into Steelix, no problem. Okay, moving on. Number 8, Chansey. Chansey evolves into Blissey in Gen 2. Now, I'd have to assume you'd probably need at least 50 candies to evolve Chansey into Blissey. So, I know it's really hard to find Chansey. I haven't found many Chanseys. The only chance I ever got was from an egg. So, I mean, the more eggs you hatch, maybe you get lucky. Maybe you'll have enough. But I think it's going to be about 50 to evolve Chansey into Blissey. All right, now let's go to number seven, the Hitmons. So, in Gen 2, we get two new Hitmon lines. We get Tyrogue, which is what... Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan, it's their baby evolution. But also in Gen 2, we also get Hitmon Top, which is the final evolution of Tyrogue, which could either be Hitmon Chan, Hitmon Lee, or Hitmon Top. Now, the only method that I can think that actually makes sense, since we don't have a lot of stat values in this game, I think that it probably ha just have to be equal. Maybe like a, a name, I'd put a nickname on there, maybe it'll change different. But I think it's probably going to be at least 25 candies, maybe even 50 to evolve. But I think a nickname method would probably be the best idea for the Hitmon line. Okay, moving on to number 6, Slowpoke. Now, unless they do add held items to the game for a Slowpoke, because you can go the Slowpoke to slow bro, But with the held item of a King's Rock, you can go Slowpoke to slow King. Um, I'm not 100% sure if they're actually going to add them. But I still think it should be the 50. And if they end up... You know, having held items in, in this game at some point, then it'd be, you know, easy method for this. But, you know, I, I guarantee it's still going to be about the 50 candies to evolve. Okay, moving on to number five, Poliwag. Similar to Slowpoke, you know, if held items come out, then it's going to be easy, no-brainer. But I still think it's going to cost the 100 to evolve Poliwag to Poliwhirl, and then 100 candies for Poliwhirl to evolve in a Politoed. Okay, moving on to number four, we have Horsey. So... And Gen 2, you know, Seedra evolves into Kingdra with, once again, another held item. But because this one doesn't have multiple evolution lines, I, I think Seedra can just evolve with 100 candies to a Kingdra. No question to ask. There you go. Okay, moving on to number 3. Uh, we have Eevee. In Gen 2, we get introduced to two new evolutions, Umbreon and Espeon. I think 50 candies sit about right with this. Um, we could do 25, but then it just adds the entire, you know, problem again with you know, which evolution do you want to have, but I think if we do 50 candies, and then, you know, if you evolve during the day, you get Espeon, if you evolve them at night with 50 candies, then you're going to get Umbreon, easy, right? Okay, moving on to number two, we have Scyther, and Gen 2 Scyther evolves into Scizor, the bug steel type, you know, once again, with a held item, just like Onyx, um, but because, you know, Scyther doesn't evolve into multiple Pokemon, then I think it's just Easily enough, 50 to 100 candies, and Scyther evolves into Scizor, no problem. Okay, now to number one on this list. Zubat. The most annoying Pokemon to run into in Pokemon Go is Zubat. It's annoying to capture. It has that stupid dodge feature where, you know, you try to throw a Pokemon, it flies up, you know, whatever, and you miss. I miss all the freaking time. It's so annoying. But... The upside is, in Gen 2, Golbat evolves into Crobat, and Crobat is amazing. It's extremely fast, pretty good attack stat, and Pokemon Go, I think it's going to be really fast. It's going to be really viable for gems, I'm sure, but I think to evolve Golbat into Crobat, I think it's going to be 100 candies, and you're going to reach the final evolution. Good to go. So, all those annoying Zubats out there, catch as many as you can, because I have a feeling Crobat is going to be really good when Gen 2 comes out. 
You're going to see Crobat running some gyms. It's going to happen. Well, that's it for this list. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like. Comment down below. I really appreciate it. See you later, guys.